All right, guys, it's Josh again. I'm back with Mike. Bikes with Mike. Bikes with Mike, yeah. But today we're riding some new transitions. I'm on a uh, 2019 Smuggler, and Mike is on a 2019 Sentinel, right? Yeah. So transition's got a demo day going right now. So we hopped on these bad boys, and I'm gonna be reviewing the Smuggler, but I'm gonna do a little different. And I'm not going to talk about the components because everyone gets so butt hurt and decides to go on keyboard smash over which component brand they think is best. Ah, Shimano. Shimano! SRAM! So we're just going to talk about the geometry and how this bike rides. So the Smuggler I'm on today is a little different than your factory build because Transition had an issue with their medium Smuggler and I'm riding Bill's Smuggler. He was nice enough to let me ride this. Now I'll flash the uh, component list here and put an asterisk next to the stuff that's custom and fancy on this bike compared to what you would get from the factory. But yeah, we're gonna give you a first impression of the bike in real time on the trail. And just see how this thing rides. 120 mil out back, 140 fork up front, 29er. I've never ridden a short travel 29er before, so this is new. But so far on this pedal, this thing rides nice. It's comfortable, really comfortable. All right, let's see how these bad boys jump. Woo! Oh, that's sloppy. A little bit slick out today. Damn, this bike rolls fast, man. Oh yeah. Damn, this bike is fun, dude. Oh man, this bike's fun, dude. Really poppy. Definitely feels bigger than my common saw though. Man, this thing is fun. This bike is definitely a lot longer reach-wise compared to my common saw. I think it's got about like 15 or 25 mil longer reach. But the chain stays are seven millimeters shorter than my common saw. But we're also comparing apples to oranges, 27.5 versus 29 on this, but. Jesus Christ. Dude, this thing is so fast. Man, I'm really impressed with how poppy this thing is. It's like, unreal. And once you start rolling on this too, these wheels are just so fast. It's awesome. So far, super impressed with this bike. The medium's definitely too big for me with the 29 inch wheels. So I would definitely size down into a small. But let's see how it does in the steep stuff in the rock gardens. Okay, definitely not as slack as my common saw, that's for sure. Damn.
Okay, Coleman Salt definitely wins in the steep rough stuff. Yeah, so this bike's running on a uh, 65 and a half, or excuse me, 66 degree head angle. And in that steep stuff, wasn't quite as composed as I would like. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> God, dude, this thing is just so fast. It's like once it gets going, it doesn't want to stop. Yeah, boys. Phew. Oh. This bike just picks up so much speed in the corners. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh my God, dude, this bike pedals so well. Definitely when you get on the gas on this bike. Oh, yeah, getting steezy. So on tighter corners like that. I know some my common saw handles it a little bit better. But on the more wide open corners, man, this thing just goes. It's really easy to lean over too. Not really having any issues of it wanting to stand up in the corners. Just really composed. Oh, yeah. Dude, I really like the chainstay length on this thing. Makes it really fun and just snappy enough in the corners. So, I mean, besides the fact of how fast this bike is. A lot of stuff on my common saw on the 27.5. You'll notice that you kind of like fall into the holes a little bit more. Whereas on this bike, you just roll over everything or pop off of everything because it's so playful. I'll tell you what, I'm definitely not nearly as tired on this trail right now compared to what I normally am. And I think it's because this bike is so fast. I would definitely consider this bike if you have a lot of flowy trails like we have here. All right, Mike, are we gonna see you on a transition in the next video? <laughs> we'll take that as a maybe. All right, guys, so I had a night to sleep on the Smuggler to think what my overall impression of the bike was and um, I'll tell you what, I think I see a 29er in my future here very soon. Um, dude, the bike was just so much fun. It was so poppy. The thing was really stable. Um, the place that I didn't really like the bike was when it got steep and when it got really technical and kind of gnarly. Um, at that point, the the travel just, there wasn't quite enough. It was a little too steep of head angle, but I think maybe like throwing a 150 fork on there instead of a 140 would be pretty cool. Um, it helps slacken it out like just a little bit. Um, but honestly, man, I'm like really blown away by how sick that bike was. I really didn't think I was gonna like a short travel 29er, but absolutely loved it. I thought it was so cool. Um, and I even was talking to the guys at Transition about trying to order up a frame and building one up. So we'll see what happens here. But overall, man, 
I highly suggest that bike to you guys. If you live in a place where it's like really, really gnarly riding, really steep, really technical, probably not the best bike. Maybe look into like a Sentinel, which is a, a 140, 160 travel 29er. Um, give you a little bit more forgiving ride there for the steeps and the gnarly stuff. But if you live in a place like we do here where we have a lot of like flowy stuff and not a whole lot of steeps, man, that smuggler is sick. But yeah, I would highly suggest it, especially if you're on 27.5 wheels right now. Give that bike a shot, honestly. Um, I really didn't think I was gonna like the 29er, but man, I loved that thing. So I think I might have to order myself one up here soon as if I need another bike, but um, overall, super impressed with the bike. Really stoked, it was so much fun. It was really cool to hang out with the guys from Transition and uh, see everybody, but anyway, so for the rest of the summer, um, the plan is hopefully get a couple more races in the summer at least. Um, so July 27th through August 4th, I will be up in Whistler. I'm going to the Summer Gravity Camp, which I am super excited about. Um, I'm doing the Enduro Camp, which is something new that they've got going on. Um, so we basically get coaching by some of the best riders in the world. We get to ride a lot of Whistler's local stuff outside of the bike park. Um, so once July rolls around, best believe I'm going to be taking you guys with me and showing you that whole experience. But um, yeah, pretty stoked. Hopefully get another bike review in here soon. Um, I was talking to Sue at Ashland Mountain Adventures. I might be able to get on an Ibis Ritmo and demo a Ritmo. So hopefully do a review on that one too. But we'll see what happens here. But yeah, overall, super stoked on the Smuggler. Really excited on those 29 inch wheels and uh, might not be too long before you guys see me on another bike with 29 inch wheels. So anyway, catch you guys on the next video.